this is where all zodiac signs are welcome. This is my walk, my daily walk. Admiring all of the seeds that were planted with intentions to bring in beauty. And they take time, timing and seasons. But look at all of the beauty with all of the seeds that get planted. Yeah, and this is a part of the tree house. I wanted to show you my little walk as I go forward. You get to see a little bit of Chicago where I am. And each one of the four corners here represents beauty. Whatever direction we choose to take. Taking time out to enjoy. Look at a bit of heaven on earth a little corner of heaven on earth each corner within you may you find a piece of heaven on earth today the elements of water yes the emotions that i am purging you definitely saw a big purge yesterday look at the pathways the detail the focus the grand beauty of it all. Each season, each aspect of ourselves. Well, it's time to say RIP to the old version of myself. The version of Gwendolyn. To give birth and give way to surrendering all of the aspects within myself that needed healing the seven so on the number seven years for me it marks a completion in one area one area that yes you can see showing you the pain that I have let perch through me it's not forgotten we hold within us all of the memories of our past ancestral heritages and then now I get to let go of the fragmented pieces that were keeping me stuck and feeling incomplete and feeling like a stranger among many people. That pain that we inflict upon ourselves. And I had to grasp onto it and say, you know what? This is Pluto gone direct six months ago. Who would ever thought I'd be here? Pluto went retrograde, I believe it was in April. It's a transforming planet and Venus has been deep, deep, deep in the underworld, deep in Scorpio. And now this is a part, like I said, RIP to the old part of me to give birth to the true mystical, the true mysticism within me that I hold dear to my heart. Do you know that wisdom, when she comes to you, oh, when she comes to you, as it is said in the Bible, ask for her and she will come. You see, you see all the beauty I'm showing you? Can you imagine when you look at her or when she comes to you? Her beauty is ageless. It is, it is refined. It has gone through the sacred fire. So when you ask for wisdom, she comes to you when you're ready. She's lovely. She's lovely. This is what came to me. And I'm going to read from this and I'm going to stop a minute. Today, Job chapter 9, verses 9. And it says, he made the constellations Ursa Major. Orion's belt meaning and the Pallades and the cluster of the stars in the south. And I'll continue on with this when I get into the house and we'll add this on to our daily meeting in the tree house. But I wanted to show you my walk, my pathway with him. I love my daily walks, walking with our beloved. I'll see you soon. Hello everyone. I'm back.
right in the nick of time. The holy waters, you hear the thunder, can you hear the rain? That came suddenly. All of your prayers, all of your blessings, especially a dear one from Ireland who sent directly to the grotto for me to assist me with the blessed, holy, holy, holy mother, the healings, the tears, the purging that I went through yesterday. Reaction to the cause. So I can't, I don't know where to start with a sincere, sincere gratitude for each and every one of you who send blessings of light and love. And, and those of you who knew exactly where I was to, 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 I'm so bad with names, to every one of you, you were right. So let me continue with the messages and, and we'll get into this at the end because I have so much to tell you, to share with you. For those of you, this is what Venus in Scorpio looks like. I am Venus, my Venus is in Taurus. I'm Sun in, German, I'm sun in Gemini, Mercury, retrograde. I'm Moon in Aries, Mars, and I'm Cancerian, Ascendant. So the balancing of all that's taking place. So Spirit took me to that message. We'll continue where Job chapter nine, verses nine. And I looked that up and like I said, Orion, meaning the Orion's belt and the Pallades, we're reaching that psych, that, that cosmos point that we're going to be going into. I'm gonna be doing future, I'm doing research as we speak. I'll share with you what I come up with, you know, these are, these are guided, intuitive messages that are coming into me to help me share with you so that you could see what it looks like, what it feels like. This is no new age. Um, this is old wisdom mixing in with new times where we're ascending to. So I heard share the beauty. There's beauty in the ashes. For those of you who are Taurus out there, this reading is for all signs. This is an intuitive messages for daily energies that are playing around the cosmos as it is above, so it is below. So sharing the beauty, there's beauty in the ashes here. What is the spiritual meaning of 99? I looked up 99. The number 99 is one of surrender. This number calls you to let go and release what is no longer in alignment with your spiritual cycle. Nine nine is a sacred number because it represents cosmic harmony. As things emerge in life, others must fall away. Those of you who are following me, do you remember the, the guidance I was getting, the message about the leaves falling off one by one? Mm -hmm. The many layers that I have within me here, this is what it looks like. Um, I also have the book from Jesus Always today that I just must read for those of you who follow me. You'll see how the messages all work together that we're getting. And in here it said, it's just around the bend, something spectacular. So for, let's just jump in. And I've been writing down, I, I, I am so, the threshold that Venus is on, coming out of old ancient attacks of shame. So much is coming up for the feminine energies. I wanted to let you know also, for those of you, I follow Adrian Elise. I resonate with her at a soul, soul level. I would love to refer her to you. She can clear, she could speak much better than I could about this. She has years of mastery ahead of me. Adrian Elise. Um, this is the buildup, the potent energy of Venus in conjunction with the south node in Sagittarius. Karma, from what I understand from the past lives, is what the south node in Sagittarius is. This is what's coming up. 
when I talk about past life karma, ancestral um, lineage, healings, um, the threshold of Venus is coming out of old ancient attacks and shame. So much is coming up. I repeated myself. This is for October 10th. This is our 1010 activation portal. This is why purge, rest, relax. I also heard retreat, retreat. So there's not gonna be a day I'm gonna hold back and give an important message. I found the strength and the courage to come on today to express to you all. Today's a very powerful day. Today is the day of the eighth. The sun and Mars is conjuncting. This is not a day to be pushy or aggressive. I wanna send my deepest apologies out there to my children or anyone that I offended in any shape, way, or manner. My children have been supporting me on this journey, but now, I put myself in their shoes of the humiliation that they must have felt, but yet they stood up for me and protected me all the way. So it's not easy on our family members that have to go through the judgmental of other family members, other gossipers, whatever is there, take it easy, take it easy. And thank you for those of you who bring in wisdom to me to let me know my children are my life. I love them dearly, like many of us do out there. But we're in Libra season and Big Mama had to find the balance here so that I can I cannot be. I gotta do things in a balanced, wise way. I just wanted to throw that out there. Today is the eighth. The messages I give you is for the ninth and the tenth that are coming in, we're holding down, holding down. In other words, Grounding, grounding is what we're hearing. And I heard it from many of you. Thank you out there for telling me. So I did. We're breaking and cutting cords and justice is here. Mercury and Mars. There is gonna be what's called a kiss of me on the 9th and the 10th. These are very, very sacred days. The 1010 portal I'll come back on and we'll try to see what other messages come in here. This is Saturn also going direct and Aquarius is going to be hard work, hard work, but let's do it. Let's do it together. Shifting big time, getting things done, get going. The Chiron in Aries is going to be about anger, that fire in our belly to get us to toughen up here. The sun and Mercury and Mars and Libra, the Chiron 10 degrees in Aries, the wounded warrior, is all about your power, releasing fear and stepping into our power. More clarity will come in, building the new heaven on earth. This is the great, great gathering of the rebirth of Christ consciousness that's taking place here. Consciously, this is aligning to divine God's plan. We know who we are now no more consent no more power over us facing the fear the trauma clearing out and healing in a rapid speed it's epic it's epic so the breakdown becomes the breakthrough now for many of us i want to go ahead and read this was very important. I, I felt that many of you will understand more clearly from the pages I'm about to read from the book. This was yesterday's message that I didn't get to read to you where I was. And it says, October 7th, in order to hear my voice, you must release all your worries into my care and trust to me everything that concerns you. This clears the way for you to seek my face unhindered. Let me free you from fear that is hiding deep inside you. Sit quietly in my presence, allowing my light to soak into you and drive out any darkness lodged within you. Accept each day just as it comes to you, remembering that I am sovereign over your life. Rejoice in this day that I have made, trusting that I am abundantly present in it. Instead of regretting or resenting the way things are, thank me in all circumstances. Trust me and don't be fearful. 
thank me and rest in my sovereignty. And then for October 8th from Jesus Calling by Sarah Young, it says, I love you. I love you, I love you. With everlasting love, the human mind cannot comprehend my consistency. Your emotions flicker and falter in the face of varying circumstances and you tend to project your fickle feelings onto me. Thus, you do not benefit fully from my unfailing love. You need to look beyond the flux of circumstances and discover me gazing lovingly back at you. This awareness of my presence strengthens you as you receive and respond to my love. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. Let my love flow into you continually. Your need for me is as constant as the outflow of my love to you. This is from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verses 3. The book of Exodus, chapter 15, verses 13. Hebrews, chapter 13, verses 8. I also have the book of Psalms, chapter 118, verses 24. I also have 1 Peter, chapter 5, verses 6 and 7. And I also have the last one was taken from the all the blah, blah, blah. one the Solilicians, see I can't speak right now, Mercury Retrograde, chapter 5, verses 18. I want to go ahead and get out a message today from the oracles. The angels that are with us, our guides. What is the message for today for the treehouse? Today is October 8th. been a time such as now. So whatever words I'm not, I don't like holding titles specifically on anything. Application number 19 and look at the tree coming from the book. knowledge that's coming in that we're to apply in our lives. On the 11th is also going to be Saturn going direct. This, this picks up the pace to move forward. Take all the time you need and I am too. Thank you. comforting to know that hair is where I align with the like-minded soul tribe and I feel the love there's the power there's the power it was a struggle it was a struggle to gain back our power number eight I have number 19 and number eight eight is infinite infinity Nine plus one is ten. Like graduating and headed on to the next cycle, the next chapter of our lives, where we'll gain our power and we move forward with our true authenticity, light, initiated. Yep. Number 35 is another eight. So we have 888, a very powerful message. 44, believe in your dreams. 
master numbers are here. Fours, eights. Yeah. Structures that are going up here. Safety, security. Number 19 is application. You could look at this card. It says you have been on a quest for a greater understanding and knowledge for some time now. This card is an indication that the time has truly come to apply this acquired knowledge in a practical way to your real life. There will always be more to learn, but for now focus on walking the walk. Demonstrate to yourself and those who love you what you have learned and you'll see you've come even farther than you ever imagined was possible. You could repeat after me if you wish. The laws of universal love take root in my life. I now apply everything I have learned during my spiritual quest. The knowledge of the mind will be transformed into life knowledge. I radiate love at all times. Light transforms my heart and my thoughts. This is, this is a part of the seven hermetic principles. What we're doing is the knowledge. The mind is where the free will is. There's a transformation. There's an energy here of clarity that changes the way that we think. Having clear thoughts from source creator directly. Power number eight. I immediately feel the magician card. Power with the sword also. There's that clarity that's coming in here. It says, as challenging as life may seem to you right now, trust that you have the power and strength to get through the present obstacles and reach a new chapter of greater peace and harmony that awaits you just around the corner. I had around the bend, just around the bend. So we heard it twice. We heard it from the book, Jesus Calling, and now it's aligning to the same message. So for many of you, you're hearing this message. Let me read it again. It says, wow. Trust that you have the power and strength to get through the present obstacles and reach a new chapter of greater peace and harmony that awaits you just around the corner try to keep a positive outlook and not be disheartened by recent events you are about to tap into an enormous reservoir of power within you that will help you navigate these tough times and come out stronger and wiser I can't wait for you to share your messages of from the 1010 Sunday. And we could say these words together if you wish. I am master of my life and perfectly at one with the universe. My thoughts are pure, loving, and positive. I believe in myself. And I know that with God, I can do anything. I now draw upon this new power within me. And I go through this growing phase with ease. Jupiter is going to go direct. Jupiter is all about the growth and the expansion. Initiation is number 35. For many of you, you're seeing 888. That annoying sound. I apologize for this. Every stage in life is an initiation into a new, higher state of being. Through these constant progressive initiations, we gain access to the strengths that help us grow in love and wisdom. Welcome these evolutionary passages. See them as an opening that leads you to work on your innermost being so that you can forever lift up to the highest ideal of God. You can repeat after me. I am constantly being initiated into higher states of awareness. 
And believe in your dreams is number 44. You are ascending. There's an infinite symbol above her head of the infinite possibilities that lie ahead for all of us. And it says, you may be encountering some obstacles and challenges which you feel are standing in the way between you and your dreams. Don't be disheartened. Your efforts, we heard that twice. Don't be disheartened. Your efforts will soon be rewarded. Continue to do whatever you can to move towards achieving your goals and your dreams. Even the smallest steps will make a big difference at this time. If you don't feel supported by those around you, draw on your own inner strength and do the believing for them. Acknowledge your value and fill your mind with positive thoughts about your future success. You could say these words with me. I remain confident and determined even in the face of challenges. I draw on my inner strength to help me keep focused on my dreams. I rejoice in the success that is coming to me now. Opportunity is right underneath there. Be ready and blessing is right underneath there. So the weekend looks really, really miraculous. It looks epic. Look at this. Opportunity will be knocking on your door for many of you here and blessings come to you. So many blessings and goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. Wow, 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 wow. So that's the messages I'm gonna have. This was a, a day today that the sun came out even in the most gloomiest, darkest of times. As I was walking, like 2202, as I walked, I heard the thunder, there was the clouds, but look at the sunshine coming up after the purification, after the cleansing. Sending you all tons of love. Thank you. Namaste to all you lovely, lovely beloveds out there. You are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You are lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm sending you all tons of love. See you soon.